Resurrection Day. Happy Easter. As I said before, we've seen a lot of Easter and Resurrection Days pass us by. We ought to make use of this one. It says, I am come that ye may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. He claimed that this was the Christ self, the life that endures forever, the life that does not die. Jesus, the anointed one, the master teacher, understood that life is indestructible and that that form may change, but life continues on. Jesus lived the Christ so completely that those around him misunderstood and crucified him, thinking that he was referring to the little self. Today, if we listen, the Christ within speaks to us as it did Jesus. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the light of the world. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Before Abraham was, I am. This applies to the Christ self of you and me. That which is eternal, indestructible, and perfect. Easter, it's a glorious time. Easter is that time of year when the seeds are beginning to germinate. Sending forth sprouts to reach down deep into the earth and bring back forth eternal substance. But some will say, how are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? Thou, that which thou sowest, is now quickened, except it die in 1 Corinthians. The seed dies only to become the beautiful flower, the plant, the atoms, that are composed in the seed never dies. When you buy most fruit, there's a seed in it which can be planted over and over. In our mind are always new creative ideas if we awaken and recognize that it flows. Yeah. Even as I speak, yeah. the power of the creator is giving you something to work with. Yeah. Yeah. It is a step in the continuance of life. The seed surrenders its identity. A seed then becomes whatever it is to become. So if we surrendered ourselves on Good Friday, we will rise today in a new way of thinking, a new way of being, a new way of living. Y'all excuse my bad. <laughs> life continuously moves on. We too must continue to think on. Yes. To think on those things that are great, that are good, that are wonderful, that are loving, that are kind. Yes. So that life continues on through us. When we speak words that are not of God, that are not life promoting, that are not inspirational, we kill life. Yes. Amen. Teach. Today is the day that we rise anew. Yes. We should do it every day, 365. But since it's on the calendar, <laughs> we are supported all around this world yes. of people speaking a word to lift us up. Yes. So we might as well rise as long as everybody else is doing it, yes. yes. and it's something good. Amen. We die from being in the womb to the birth of a baby. We leave that as a baby to become a toddler, then a preteen, then a young adult, then an adult. Life continues to move on. Passing from the preschool of life to mastering this thing that we call living. The resurrection is the opportunity to get your master in your life. This is graduation day. <laughs> some walk across the stage, and some must do some extra work going to summer school. <laughs> Take some summer classes to continue unfolding. It's all good. Whatever it takes to get you where you're supposed to be, do it. There's an 
old joke that periodically makes its rounds where people say that Christ is not Jesus' last name. But Christ is a title, the recognition of a state of consciousness that Jesus possessed in abundance, but not exclusively. <laughs> the mind that Jesus had is the mind that we have. We were made in the image and likeness of the Creator. But it is only Jesus thus far that has awakened completely. We have our opportunity to keep it moving. There is something wonderful about knowing that the mind Jesus used, Buddha used, Muhammad used, and all of the sages and prophets and avatars that we can use as well. We believe that when we turn to God, God turns to us in a personal way. We have a reciprocal relationship. We can do this every day by turning to God, turning our attention, looking beyond appearances, and seeing the presence and power of God that is real, that is true. And then we will know that whatever needs to be healed can be healed. There are no flaws in us, only misunderstandings about who we truly are. This is the first healing. All else awaits us. Greater intelligence, clearer thinking, clearer action, unconditional love. See, the resurrection represents a birth, a rebirth, an awakening. This is enlightenment. Enlightenment is the awakening to a high level of spiritual truth, which is the light that is within us. Jesus Regardless if we believe the story of Jesus Christ to be real or fictional, we can all gain insight of what to do on our path to enlightenment. A wise person utilizes every resource available to expand their consciousness. Jesus' story is one of inspiration for us to strive forward towards our highest good. We all have divinity within us that seeks to express itself through us. We incarnate on this earth in order to gain more light by going through the darkness of ignorance, sickness, unforgiveness, thoughts of lack and limitation. We are reminded that as the truth that Jesus was crucified on Calvary and was resurrected three days later, this work had been going on in him for 33 years. All right. And when he rose, he was free from the human mind and all limitation. See, to walk with thee means to think like thee. Right. To think like thee means to live like, like thee. Right. We should not, as God's children, be walking around here sick and tired, tired and sick, <laughs> angry, frustrated, thinking that we can't when we can. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. As we think, yes. so are we. in the skull, in mind. And crucified means crossing out in consciousness, error thinking, mistakes that has been taken up residence in your thinking. We are reminded of the three steps that we must take to turn our thinking around, similar to the three days that Jesus spent in the tomb to overcome error. That first step is non-resistance. Cross, stand up and let go and let go. The second is the taking up of the divine activity, the receiving of the will of God. And the third, the assimilation and fulfillment of that divine will. Understanding it, applying it, and being aware of it 24-7. In those steps, we deny the self that we might unite with the selfless. We give up the mortal that we may attain the immortal, and we dissolve thought the physical, that we may realize the spiritual. See, Jesus made the discovery of this divinity of man. He proved it and demonstrated it, and then told us that we can do it too. John 14, 12 says, the works that I do shall you do also. Matter of fact, and even greater works All right now. that you and I can do. He showed us and told us that each of us can go further, can reach higher, can unfold tremendous blessings, healing advantage.
adventures in our life. When we train, when we understand, when we apply that understanding, we move from one state of being to another. It is only a choice when we choose to stay in a low vibration and low energy and around people that don't mean us no good. It's our choice. When you're telling yourself, I don't have a choice. God created us individually. Gave us dominion and choice. We always got a choice. Choose today who you shall serve. On this resurrection day, in which every day is the opportunity to vow to self, to let go of them, that, he, she, it, them, that hinders us from excelling in our living. I put it all on the cross, and today I cross it out. Therefore I rise. I am open at the top. And the top is where I will be <laughs> Easter, the celebration of the resurrection, a lifting, a renewal, an awakening the winter's hibernation. We've springing forth now from being in the winter, from being shut in and closed up. We're springing forth. That's what spring is all about. It's about newness from our preparation through our affirmation to bring about a transformation. This resurrection day, what have you let go of? What have you risen to? We speak of Jesus specifically on this day. The man from Nazareth, meaning shining, splendid, offshoot, springing forth, son of Mary, purity, meaning I'm holding no grudges, no fears, no worries. I come humbly. Metaphysically, we are talking about the I am in humanity. The real you and I. The directive power that is raised to divine understanding. And that omniscient power that God has given each of us. But because we've been lost in our conscious connecting between our thinking faculty and the fountainhead of existence, we have been in a low state as a people. The mission of Jesus was to connect the dots for us, yes. to connect the thinker with the true source yes. of thought, yes. to stop thinking at random, yes. but to bring our thoughts in alignment with heavenly thoughts. He came as a representative to help each generation to a higher realization of God and our relationship to our Creator. The truth that God is unlimited love and is ever present, all power, as well as all knowing, this infinite presence is ready, willing, and able to supply all of our needs. It is only when we think that it can, that it can. This way sure came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. He came to awaken us just as Ernest Holmes, Martin Luther King, Hornaday, your Dr. Coco, your Reverend Michael, your Dr. Ronnie, your Gandhi, your Pope, your Dalai Lama, so many people come reading, studying to give us a word to take with us. Easter, when it talks about rabbits, because what is rabbits and, and eggs and baskets have to do? <laughs> Rabbits represent rebirth and continuous life. And then the eggs hold within itself continuous life. And then the basket is to hold on to your stuff. Possible. 
delivered from low consciousness, low energy, and low vibration. Let some of that stuff go. Amen. Forgiveness is your biggest friend. Yes. Because it will allow you to go to sleep in peace and awake in joy. Yes. But when you're angry at somebody or you think they mistreated you, you go to sleep angry, you toss and turn, and you wake up if you wake up. Yes. <laughs> and not looking forward to the day. Amen. That is a shame that God gives breath to us to wake up every morning, but we don't even want to face the day. Right. When each of us has been chosen, when you wake up and you got breath, yeah. you better breathe. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. We are so worried about the how. The how is a formality. Your dreams, your desires, and your needs are our potential realities. Mind thinks and the law works it out. We must tend to our business. Let the universe tend to its business. You know, back in the day when they say, uh, stay out of grown folk business. <laughs> Until we mature in this thing called life, your life, my life, our lives, be still and know. You see, Jesus' prayers were answered because he sought to hang out in the consciousness of perfect harmony Amen. with the Father. When we ask in our true nature, we must remember it is the earnest desire for that consciousness which the anointed one possessed. It was promised to all of us to give, to bless, to heal, to provide. The Christ within is ever seeking perfect expression through each of us. So it should be our earnest effort to allow it, to have our mind and heart open so completely that the floodgates of blessings come rushing in our lives unobstructed. By constantly affirming God's power and presence as our power and our presence, it raises our thoughts and feelings to a resurrected state of being. Yes. See, Easter is about springtime, but it's about us being in alignment. See, because everything is one. We're connected in the universe, all of us, with everything. So when you have this springtime, when you have this resurrected day, we're joining hands all across the universe to lift up each other. Yes. We should not let another resurrected day go by yes. and we don't see the moment. All right. I remember uh, reading The Art of Being Yourself, uh, Frank Richelieu, and he was in an art gallery. And a man asked, have you seen the picture painted by Coleman Hunt of Jesus knocking at the door? One man was looking at the picture and turned to the artist and said, what a magnificent piece of work. But you forgot something. There is no door knob. There is no knob on the door. And the artist smiled and said, there is a door knob. You forgot something. The door of life opens from within, <laughs> not from without. So we must open the door of awareness from within. The doors of our hearts and minds that lead to greater life must open yeah. from within. Yeah. And we are the only ones who can open that door. All right. yeah. Yeah. Ernest Holmes tells us the Christ represents the universal idea of our sonship and daughtership. Each of us partake of the Christ's nature to the degree that the Christ is revealed through us. Yes. And to that degree, we enter into that Christ consciousness. <laughs> Christ is the image of God, the likeness of the Father. And so the son and the daughter, we'd be beholding some good stuff. And if we would allow that good stuff to rise up higher yes. than the other stuff, yes. then we can do some real living. To walk around angry, frustrated, and upset when you're beholding all of this good stuff is a slap in the face to the Creator. Yes. For the Christ to be found in us is to put off the old, with all of its mistakes and doubts and worries and fears, and aches and pains and complaints, and put on the new, which is always certain that he or she is the beloved of the Father. We all bear our crosses. 
nails, crowns of thorns, which represent the fall of the human and the consequences of the entrance of error thinking and sin and belief in separation from God. But Jesus took it up for us on that cross. There was no part of humanity with all of his hardships that Jesus did not experience. Unlike most of us, he read the whole contract, even the fine print, and still signed on the dotted line for us. We are free. And what he's saying is that, yeah, we're going to go through some things. I'm sure we all going through something like that. But the hit won't be as hard as it could have been had somebody not stepped up for us. Amen. 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 And he passed the baton to us right. to take some hits for the others. You just saw these babies up here singing. They're supposed to be somebody, and the only way they're going to be somebody is if we keep watch. There we go. Amen. We talk about our kids now out there, but it was on our watch. That's, That's right. right. Amen. You better put your glasses on. And start <laughs> it is done, as Reverend Helen said earlier. The debt has been paid. We no longer have to suffer. The tomb of guilt, hurt, and pain can no longer hold us. It's time for us to cross out complaining, cross out grudges, cross out being frustrated. Cross out feeling less than. Cross out being anxious, feeling that we never can and we never will. Cross out thinking about suicide. Cross out your addictions. Cross out judgmental criticism. Cross out being envious. Cross out being jealous. The Christ within you has risen today. We ascend, we resurrect, we lift up, we open the door from the inside. We are open at the top today. Take a deep breath. Just close your eyes and feel these words. Allow it to truly resonate with you. Allow God, our Creator, our Father, no one loves us more than the Creator. Always seeking to create even more within you. So today we realize that Christ's presence is born anew in each of us. We know that there is nothing in all the universe that can prevent the full expression of that which we are. I do not have to compel things to happen. The Christ's presence in me expresses because it is his nature to do so. I accept the fullness of God's love. I know that the time has come for my larger expression of life. I depend upon divine principle, which does all things in the right way at the right time. I am ready. I open my heart fully that my Christ itself may motivate everything that I do. Yes. I know that rightness of vision, regardless of what barriers may seem to exist or what limitations may appear, I know that divine mind finds a way. I am not misled by a seeming lack of receptivity because I know that my ideal will find its full expression. The most humble channel can be turned into the most lawful opportunity. The Christ loves and illumines my way. My whole world fills its readings. So continuously and effortlessly, I stay open at the time. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to gather on this morning to lift up our thinking, to open our heart, and to walk aright. All things are possible to those who believe. I believe that all things are possible through Christ that strengthens me. I give thanks, I let it be, we affirm happy resurrection day, and so it is. 